Hi guys, it's Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing and I'm here to talk about some of my May favourites this month. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is the TV show I've been loving recently and one of the ones I really thought was really really good in May was iZombie. Um, this has obviously come back for, I think it's a third season, possibly it's fourth, I think it's the third though. Um, and I've loved it since like the first season, I really really enjoyed it but I just think it's getting really really good. I really love the direction it's taking, I love Liv, I love all, I basically love all the characters in this, um, it's just really great. If people don't know what this one is about, which I'm sure you do because there are comic books and um, the TV shows on the CW so a lot of people know all the TV shows on the CW just because it's always like in your face. Um, but it's about a girl woman who gets turned into a zombie and she ends up working um, in the uh, morgue attached to the police office and she ends up helping out with murder cases because when she eats the brains of the victims she gets flashbacks into their lives so she's able to solve their murders. Um, so it's really really good and I really do highly recommend people watching it but I've been really really loving uh, the newest season. The music I want to talk about this month is Paramore's album After Laughter. So this is their first um, album in a few years, I think. Um, two years, I think. Um, possibly three. I think it's been two, though. Um, and it is a slightly different sound to their normal sound. Um, and it's probably not my favourite album of theirs. Um, but I do still really, really enjoy it. I just love all their music like all the time and um, so obviously this is one of the bands that I do I do love enough that I went out and I bought their album it's in my car at the moment because obviously I listen to music when I'm driving around um but I yeah I'm really enjoying it um Hard Times is probably my favorite because I think that's the catchiest out of all of them and it's also one that I think is probably the closest out of a lot of the songs to their to their old sound um but I am really enjoying listening to this when I'm out and about I have some makeup I want to talk about this month. One is what I'm wearing on my lips. Um, so while I was in uh, Italy, a lot of the stuff in this haul is also, or in this favourites video, there's a load of stuff I bought in Italy. Um, so I was went to Sephora when I was in Italy, because there's no Sephora in Ireland, um, and they were selling Kat Von D. There is a store in Ireland called Debenhams that does sell Kat Von D. I just never shop in Debenhams. Um, so I took the chance when I was in Italy, um, when we were in Sephora, to go and look at Kat Von D's collection. Um, and I bought two of her... Um, um, kind of lipsticks or matte lip glosses kind of things Um, I'm not sure the exact word for these ones Um, but the this one is obviously the colour I'm wearing on my lips um, and this one is called Exorcism and then I also have this kind of light matte purple colour um, if you can see that and this one is called Requiem um, so both of these are really great. They dry kind of matte. I'm not sure if you can see, but they're quite matte. They don't really rub off. Uh, as you can see, you're rubbing it only comes off very slightly with like a really hard rub. So they do last quite long, um, and I do really like them. Um, they are kind of different colours that you wouldn't wear like on like every single day, but I do like wearing them now and again, and they kind of just give me a bit of a bop to my step I guess when I'm wearing them because I feel really good when I'm wearing them so um at the moment I'm really enjoying them I also got, got Kat Von D's um her trooper black liquid liner um see that there um and I do find this I'm wearing this at the moment now it's a bit heavy at the moment on me now because I was sneezing earlier and my eyes got all watery so it's a bit blah um but um I have for the most part been enjoying like I do like this I do enjoy wearing it and um, I find it quite easy to go on Um, like the, the brush is really easy to use um, and I'm real particular with the type of brushes I like to use on like on my liquid eyeliners Um, it goes on really easily I find it's it's a bit wet for a while though once it goes on so I kind of you kind of have to keep your eyes closed for a while because if you start blinking you could end up getting the line above your eye which happens to me all the time because I have no patience so I never like stand there with my eyes closed for a while to let it dry and um, it's really annoying um, and it's also it hasn't been staying as much as I'd like it to be but I also haven't been using my setting spray that much recently so it could be that as well um so yes also wanted to talk about some shoes I got while I was over in Italy um, and that is these I don't know if you can see them um but I just fell in love with these when I saw them in the store um, I think I got them for 40 euro um, they were originally 80 to 90 euro um, and they were reduced down to 40 and I picked them up while we were in Florence and I just think they're so cute and look really nice with little dresses and stuff and yeah I adore them I think they're absolutely so cute 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 another piece of clothing um, I got while I was um, in Italy was something I got in Pisa and it is this lovely blouse um, and I just love the pattern on this blouse as you can see it's just flowers um, and it has some birds on it as well 
um, and I just I just think it's really summery spring summer and I just love the colours on it and it fits really well and really comfortable as well um, so yeah I absolutely I'm really really loving this one as well. I'm also talking about some of the stuff I got in Italy. Some of my other favourites is this painting um, I got when I was in Florence um, by one of the, I actually can't, it's Quan I think um, his name was, as if he has it written down here, um, but I'm not sure of his full name but he was just outside the Pitti um, Palace in Florence um, and he had some beautiful photo, beautiful oil paintings of horses that were like 500 quid or something so we were like oh, maybe maybe not and then he showed us these ones um, and I got this for 20 euro and I just think this is absolutely beautiful um, and I just need to find a really nice frame to put it up my wall because yeah I love it I think it's absolutely gorgeous and another little gorgeous thing I got while I was in Siena in Italy is this little tile um, and it says attenti I cane kind can I canny I'm not really sure how to say that in Italian but it basically means beware of the dogs um and I just think it's really cute and I really like it um so I just had to get that when I saw it um I think it's really cute I think I paid I think it was 13 euro I think this was um and I think it's, it was worth it it was it's really good and it's really sturdy and everything as well so yeah and the last thing I want to talk about is the YouTuber I really liked this month, and that is Randy Rainbow. And um, if you guys don't know what Randy, Ra Randy Rainbow, he's kind of um, he kind of is YouTuber slash singer, and he basically does a lot of kind of stuff to do with current news news fairs and things that are happening around the world. And he basically takes the piss out of Donald Trump like all the time, and it's absolutely hilarious. And I just love his takes on things. And um, his most recent uh, video is about Kofifi, and if you don't know what Kofifi is where have you been for the last couple of weeks um big big news big news um kofifi news as we would say um but yeah it's he's really really funny he's really enjoyable and i definitely uh, say anyone who wants a bit of a laugh to go and check out his videos because they're brilliant um so yeah that is everything i wanted to talk about today and i just need to start stockpiling all my favorites for june um and i will talk to you guys again next time